What's going on guys, Josh Polkak here. Now on this channel, we've covered many different AI coding tools. We recently covered DeepSeek 3 artifacts, which leverages the power of an open source model like DeepSeek 3 and the power of something like Claude Artifacts to build some cool stuff. And we've covered many different open source tools and leveraging them with AI coding. But in today's video, we are possibly going to go over one of the fastest ways to build using AI coding with the fastest inference time. And that of course is with Grok. If you've heard of grok before we've covered it before on this channel now here is a tweet saying grok speed takes cogen to a whole new level meet app gen a platform to generate and share micro apps create iterate and remix js apps with full app generation speeds of mere hundreds of milliseconds llama 3.370b running with speculative decode on grok generates high quality code at thousands of tokens per second. Creating useful widgets has never been this fast, easy, and fun. I'm gonna show you how you can set AppGen up. This is an open source Next.js app that you can self host. I'm gonna show you how you can do it and use it. Let's dive right into it. All right, so just before I get into AppGen, if you're not familiar with Grok, like I said, we've covered it many times on this channel, but it is essentially a fast AI inference and it is using their Grok chips, which are very, very fast. So let's go ahead and take a look at AppGen. So all links that I go over in today's video will of course be linked down below and you can reach this at appgen.groklabs.com. Build a micro app at Grok speed. So you can describe your app here. We'll get into that in just a second. And what I like too, is that it gives you a gallery of different apps that were created. So we can like go view all to actually see some of these apps right here. So we can see like an HVAC unit calculator. This is definitely useful. We can see different ones have different likes on them. AI coding agents interface, audio recording and transcription. So a lot of cool different ideas that you can get from here. I really like when AI apps kind of do this have a gallery with different trending ones right here different popular ones and new ones appgen is fairly new still as you can see this tweet was on december 20th so as more people begin to use it there of course will be more uh, apps here we can see a weather app dashboard and whatnot so if i click on one of these such as the hvac unit converter we can click on this it will give me a little warning we just go continue and you can see now we got an hvac calculator right here we could, you know, we have different options down here on the right. Um, you can remix this app. It's un it's right under my head, but if you look in the bottom right corner, you'll see that you can like the app, remix the app. Um, here we can toggle light mode or dark mode, which isn't doing anything really. Okay, it's just doing it for these buttons here. Here we can actually go ahead and use our app. Like here we could put, you know, 14 degrees Celsius, convert temperature. That converts to Fahrenheit and Kelvin right there. Pressure right here, convert pressure. Okay, it converts right here, low rate. You can see it's actually a functioning app, right? So pretty cool stuff. We could go ahead and remix the app. If I remix the app, then it's going to pull the app right here. It's going to pull the code, as you can see here, and then we'll see the actual code on the right. So I like that you can remix the app. Um, that's cool, it gives you a good starting point if you don't know what to build. Now, instead of remixing the app, I'm going to go ahead and actually start from scratch here. Okay, so here I'm saying build a financial tracking application that has expenses, uh, income, and more. Make it advanced and really cool. So we can do a prompt like this just by text. All right, so we'll go ahead and create. There's a couple other ways that I'll show you too in just a second. And boom, look how fast it generated this code. Like this was really, really quick. As you can see here, financial tracker, uh, expenses right here. So groceries. Uh, income summary, total expenses, total income balance. Now we can actually enter our feedback right here, which is really nice. So I could say, all right, so now I'm saying, allow me to add new items or new line items for each, have buttons to delete, add, and make everything calculate together. Let's go ahead and click apply edit and boom, look how quickly that was. That is really fast. You can add a new expense here. We can put our date like in this format. So 2024-05- one eight go ahead click ok category groceries amount 99 dollars and then boom we have 99 dollars grocery uh our date right here we could go ahead delete this delete our rent right there delete this delete this delete this 
of course now you can see that the total expenses is zero income zero balance zero so it is fully functional obviously this is very basic you can improve upon it as much as you want now i'm saying give a light mode and dark mode button click on apply edit and now boom we have light mode and dark mode so i can toggle between the two all right dark mode it's not perfect i could tell it hey make the uh, text right here black when it's on light mode so make all the text black when it's on light mode click on apply edit all right so now if we go to light mode okay it's still kind of tweaking here it's not perfect i'm saying the text in the table headers is still white on light mode make it black let's click apply and see if it can do this okay now boom it is working correctly now so we got light mode and dark mode working pretty good now keep in mind this is using llama 3.370b so it's not going to be as good quality as something like claude sonnet 3.5 or 01 or whatever the case may be but this is really cool because it is very fast powered by grok which is you know lightning fast if you use grok before now what you can also do here is you can go ahead and click share and this is, allows you to share your app so you can add your app name right here describe your app in a few word, words right here and then you can either allow it to not show in gallery or to show in gallery and then just click share it's going to give you an actual link right here that you can give to people open in a new tab etc so really nice stuff there now you can also create the apps not just by typing in a prompt but you can actually go here on this little uh pencil right here and you can draw out an app okay i don't even know what i drew here like a stick man in like a video game like a game boy or something let's just go ahead and click done and now go to create okay and we can see it says welcome and it has somewhat of a you know little video game game boy here whatnot obviously we could enter feedback uh, via text and change it make it better or you could just be better at drawing than i am that's works too now another cool thing is you can also prompt it by speech to text so you would just click here and then start talking build an app of a snake game and then just click stop and you can see that build an app of a snake game and boom we can go ahead and start snake game Okay, it's not working the best so we can go ahead and say it's not working apply changes etc but you can get the point here now if you want to self-host this you can simply go to the github link in the description you can copy that link right there go over to your terminal and go git clone and then the link okay it's going to clone that repo then you're going to change directory into grok dash app gen and then you can open this in cursor or vs code whatever ide you want once you open it up in your IDE, you will see the project right here. Like I said, it's a Next.js application. So all you're going to do is create a .env file right here. I just created a .env example one to show you what you're going to put in here. You're just going to put grok underscore API underscore key equals, and then you're going to paste in your API key from grok. They have a free tier for their API to use it. So if you don't have an API key from them already, I'll leave a link down below to sign up so you can use it for free in your self-hosted version. Once you paste that in, you're going to run npm install right here. And then you're going to run npm run dev in the project directory. That's going to start it up on localhost port 3000. So now, as you can see, we're on localhost port 3000 and we have that same app gen application by Grok Labs open up. So now you can go ahead, do the exact same thing, build out some cool stuff. I think you guys get the point. Now, the one thing that I don't like about this is that it is just HTML and this could be good, you know, if you're using it for a specific use case, whatnot. But, you know, I personally would prefer something like if it could generate React apps or you know anything along those lines any sort of react framework that would be awesome like i said it is still fairly new so hopefully they keep improving this app because i think rocks inference speed is very powerful and good to use but other than that guys that's pretty much it for this video let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below if you tried this did you build some cool things do you like something that is better what do you want to see me do a video on next let me know in the comments down below guys like I said in my last video, Happy New Year's, everyone. I hope everyone had great holidays. And I am very excited for 2025. I'm going to be uploading very consistently. And I got a lot of cool stuff planned for you guys. I'm extremely excited to grow this community. And I hope everyone here has their best year of their lives yet. So, so if you haven't already, guys, join our free Facebook group and Discord channel. I'll leave a link down below, stridecommunity.com. And I've been super busy these last couple of weeks onboarding new clients. I got a bunch of new projects going on. And I've also been getting a lot of cool things ready for the Stride AI Academy. So make sure if you're not already, 
join the stride ai academy down below it currently is for free but in the future who knows it may not because it's going to be super super value packed in here so make sure to join there and other than that, guys, if you need help growing your business, implementing AI, AI agents, AI appointment centers into your business, we really just revamped our system and it is super, super powerful. It's booking our clients meetings consistently. So you're definitely going to want to check that out. Book a call down below. Trust me, you will be amazed. Other than that, guys, I will see you in the next video. Keep hustling, keep grinding. And of course, guys, accelerate your stride. Take care. Are you tired of pouring thousands of dollars into appointment setters only to watch leads slip away? Imagine having a team of elite sales agents booking qualified appointments for you around the clock. No more wasted time on training, no more frustration with performance, and no more draining your budget on inconsistent and expensive call centers. Introducing Stride Agents, AI-powered appointment setters that work 24-7, never get tired, and book appointments while you sleep. Trained on thousands of successful conversations, our AI agents outperform human teams at just one-tenth of the cost. Join the ranks of businesses that doubled their appointments and booking rates in just a matter of weeks. Don't get left behind in the AI revolution. Visit strideagents.com now and transform your entire sales process with cutting-edge AI technology. It's time to accelerate your stride with AI agents.